Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back or if you're new, I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to be sharing with you two of the new puzzles from La La Land's latest collection. So La La Land are an Australian company and they make lots of gorgeous puzzles, but not only that, they also do homewares, home decor, accessories, bags, things like that. And they also make lots of gorgeous stationary items. And speaking of which, not only did they very kindly send me these two puzzles, but they also sent me this gorgeous diary and calendar for next year. So very excited about that because I actually love having physical diaries and calendars to write all my notes and appointments and things. But yeah, this one's really beautiful, has gorgeous artwork and it's sort of like a like hardbound uh, book. So yeah, really beautiful. And I believe this artwork is called Tropicana Australiana and also features on a couple of puzzles uh, that they did earlier in the year, which I believe you can still get on their website. So check that out if you uh, if you like this design. And yeah, just has all your uh, all the things you might need uh, for your diary um, and taking notes and keeping track of everything. And yeah, and all the pages have gorgeous uh, artwork and like borders and things. So yeah, very pretty. And I'm definitely excited to use that next year. And let's have a quick look at the calendar. So yeah, beautiful artwork, just really stunning. Uh, let's have a quick flick through some of it. Again, we've got more of this beautiful uh, Tropicana Australiana design, it's just really gorgeous. I really love it. It's definitely one of my favorite sort of collections that they've put out. And what else have we got? These gorgeous birds and yeah, a lot of sort of Australiana themed uh, imagery. And again, we've got like the cockatoo from the cover and yeah, just another beautiful bird. I won't go through all of them, but yeah, they're just really stunning. And I noticed that they also have like a little perforated line here. So I guess once you've finished with a month, you could uh, pull this image out and then frame it or put it on display. Yeah, so that's cool. So that is very exciting. Um, and all of these are currently available on their website to purchase now. Um, they do at the moment only really ship within Australia. You can actually ship internationally but the uh, shipping is very expensive as you can imagine but from what I understand La La Land is looking into being able to distribute their items in the US hopefully in the near future. Let's take a close look at the two puzzles. So the first one is 1000 pieces and it's called Sniff Sniff Woof Woof which is just the cutest name ever um, and it's by the artist Marillo Manzini who's one of the in-house artists for La La Land so that's pretty cool and it's just such a cute adorable sweet image uh, it's got all these really lovely little doggos. There's a couple with their tongues sticking out, very cute. And they're in amongst all these very pretty flowers, lots of pinks and purples and yellows. Yeah, it's really colorful. And I love this very pretty cyan sky behind them as well. So yeah, just a lovely image. And I think this will be a really fun puzzle to piece together. And then the other puzzle is also 1000 pieces and it's called Kitchen Talk. And this is by the artist Mira Paradis. And it's so colorful and just really lovely as well. And it's got lots of whimsical details going on. It's really sort of jam packed full of lots of yeah fun details. So we've got uh, these ladies sort of relaxing in a kitchen. And I guess like the name suggests, there's a couple here that look like they're chatting or having a cup of tea or coffee and relaxing and chatting about who knows what, maybe their cat, I don't know. Um, and there's like a lady doing yoga and a lady writing and a lady reading so everyone looks very relaxed and chilled and there's so many little details like lots of lovely cats and a dog some birds lots of plants and flowers kitchen items yeah and it's just really colorful and very cheerful looking so i think this will also be a really fun one to piece together so it was a very difficult choice between the two because i really like both of these images a lot but i did end up going with the kitchen talk puzzle as the puzzle to do for this video um, so I think without further ado, let's have a closer look at the packaging, the pieces, and of course, let's put this puzzle together. Let's take a look at the packaging. So the box did come shrink wrapped, but I took that off earlier. And the box itself seems pretty sturdy. It's a little bit bendy there, but it's got a nice sort of uh, linen finished texture, like that sort of cross hatch kind of texture. So yeah, it feels quite nice and looks nice. Um, so on the front, we've got the La La Land logo. We've got a little sort of puzzle piece logo symbol and it says ages 12 and plus. Of course, we've got our lovely uh, puzzle image here, which is nice and like a nice size. Um, and then it says 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle and the name of the puzzle, Kitchen Talk. So let's check out what's on the sides. So, okay, we've just got to turn that around. So this side, a lot of that info is repeated. We've got 
a small version of the image. We've got the logo, 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle and kitchen talk. And then if we turn this around, we've actually got a little uh, artist bio here and the picture of the artist. So that's kind of nice that they've included that. Uh, so it says Mira Paradis for La La Land. So hopefully I've said the name correctly. Um, and it says Uta is a German illustrator and designer of colorful and playful things. Her work includes lettering, books, patterns, detailed sceneries, people, portraits and editorials. She loves everything colorful and dreamy, magical and whimsical that can be discovered in all those small wonders of daily life. She enjoys traveling with light luggage, especially in Asia. Her favorite animals are squirrels and she is addicted to the scent of cinnamon, furry things and collecting vintage board games. So yeah, nice little bit of info about the artist. And then what's on this side? Okay, we've got a bit of info about the puzzle here as well. Kind of the same stuff from before. We've got the uh, mini version of the image, the logo, 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle, but it actually says large frameable poster included ages 12 and plus in brackets and finished puzzle size is 50 by 70 centimeters. We've got a barcode here. Um, sorry, a bit, bit of trouble reading that. Designed in Australia, made in China. And then we've got the name of the puzzle and then just a bit of like copyright info and just a little bit of, I guess, contact info for La La Land, like their website. And then the final side is some more extra info. So we've got the image again here and it says, did you know, by working on jigsaw puzzles and solving them, you're allowing your brain to produce a chemical known as dopamine, which helps improve your memory and maintain a healthy brain. The process of a jigsaw puzzle also allows you to practice concentration, patience, analysis, planning, and aesthetics. Read more about the benefits of jigsaw puzzles by visiting our website. And it's got the La La Land website there. Um, and then on the back, it's actually just plain white and just again, the same sort of uh, linen finish texture. So let's turn this over and open it up. So inside is just pretty simple, just plain cardboard. And then, uh, yeah, and then there's nothing around the edges. It's just plain white. And we've got a bag of pieces here. So it's uh, just a regular sort of plastic bag, not really designed to be reused, but I guess if you're careful in opening it, you could reuse it. And we'll have a look at these lovely colorful pieces shortly. And then again, it, things are pretty simple. We've just got a poster here, which we'll open up in a sec. And yeah, the box is just plain cardboard um, inside. So I guess that's kind of handy if for some reason you do want to recycle the box, you could, cause it's, you know, pretty simple. There's nothing, there's no like plastic or anything, just paper and cardboard. So yeah. And then the poster is actually quite, big. Let's see if I can get this open. Um, yeah, so it's quite a big size. I don't even think all of this is fitting on the screen, but you can probably gauge that it's quite big, which is actually not bad for this um, image because there is a lot of detail and lots of little things and patterns going on. So this will definitely come in very handy when putting this together because yeah, there's lots of tiny little objects like the strawberries and like plants and flowers and things and all the patterns. So yeah. And then, yeah, the back of this is just white. Um, so I think let's take a look at the pieces. I've poured out all the pieces and they're looking very lovely and colorful and they sound pretty nice to rummage through as well. So let's, I guess, grab one and uh, this one looks good and have a look. Um, so the backing is actually white paper, which usually isn't my favorite, but I've actually done a lot of La La Land puzzles before which have the white backing paper and I actually haven't had any issues with them. They always seem to be pretty good quality and I have never really experienced any major peeling or anything like that. So I feel pretty confident uh, with doing this puzzle and with the white paper, so that's fine. And then as for thickness, um, they're pretty like medium to almost thick level of thickness and they are very, like they feel very, you know, sturdy and strong. They don't feel flimsy or bendy at all. So yeah, pretty, they feel nice to handle and feel like they're gonna, yeah, uh, hold up pretty well, I think. And then as for the top, uh, yeah, the colors show up very nicely, so that's good. Um, yeah, it's a smooth, very smooth finish. Um, it is a little bit glossy, like there is a bit of shine. I don't know how well you can see that, but yeah, it's gonna really depend on your lighting. I have had a few issues in the past with these pieces being a little bit shiny, Again, just depending on your lighting situation. So just something to note. Um, but yeah, they feel nice and smooth and again, kind of like a hard top. And something interesting is that 
the edges have like almost a little bit of a beveled feel to them. So all around the edge, instead of it just being like very straight, uh, the sort of hard top almost feels like it curves over a little bit. So yeah, no, it feels nice and kind of looks like good quality. And yeah, it just looks like a nice jigsaw puzzle piece. So yeah, definitely excited to put this puzzle together. And I guess let's take a look at some of the piece shapes. So of course we've got your classic sort of two tab. Um, what else? We've got a sort of variation on the two tab as well. We have a, we've got three tabs. Um, what else have we got? Oh, a single tab, I guess. And I'm sure I saw one without any tabs, like a zero tab. Let's see if we can find one. I'm gonna go on a bit of a rummage. I definitely saw some before. Where are you when I need you? Not here, apparently. Okay, you might have to take my word for it, but there are definitely pieces that don't have any tabs. Um, and I haven't, I've also not been able to find any pieces that have four tabs. So it might just be zero, one, the two, two tab variations and three. Um, but uh, even within those variations, I've seen quite a like, you know, interesting mix of shapes and things. So I think like there's probably enough variation amongst like the piece shapes that there shouldn't be too many false fits or like minimal false fits. So yeah, um, so, I think the only other thing to mention is there didn't seem to be too much puzzle dust. Um, let's look in the bottom of the box. Oh, there's not too much. I guess we'll probably see more when I, as I put the puzzle together, we'll see how much dust sort of shows up on the um, puzzle board. And I guess the only other thing is, yeah, I haven't really come across any damaged pieces yet, but I'll definitely let you know if there's anything worth noting. Um, so yeah, I think apart from that, um, we're pretty much ready to get into puzzling. So let me bring back the, I'll just bring back the picture in the box because the poster is quite large. So I think the way I'm going to put this together is I'm definitely going to pull out the edge pieces because there's a lot of detail along the edges. So I think putting the border, border together first shouldn't be too much of a problem. Should be pretty easy, but it is a very like a bitsy type of image where there's like lots of little details here, there and everywhere. So I think some of it will be a case of, you know, picking out like, you, you know, I should be able to find the Dal Dalmatian and maybe this sort of teal blue of this like little stool and the table I might be able to find the window. Maybe like these sort of yellowy green pants and her top, uh, maybe some red or the plant. So I might be able to find some more distinct larger areas of color or pattern. But then I think a lot of other little things like the crockery and like ornaments and things like that might just be a matter of picking up a piece and then studying the picture and then trying to figure out where it goes. So it might be a sort of mix of that. That's my guess. Um, but I think it's going to be really fun to put together. There's a lot going on and a lot of very pretty colors and patterns, but yeah, so that's how I'm going to approach it or that's my plan. We'll see uh, if I stick to that or I might change things along the way, depending on how I feel it's going. And I guess because we have a nice large poster, I might actually flip this over and end up pouring in some of the pieces from this side into this. So we've got a bit more, uh, a larger sort of sorting rummaging area. So yeah, so I think uh, without further ado, let's get into puzzling.
thought I'd just pop in for a quick update. So as you can see, I've done a fair chunk of the puzzle, probably more than halfway, mainly because I've just been having so much fun and I really had to sort of stop myself and to be able to give you this update. Um, so yeah, just been, it's just been really enjoyable and uh, it's only taken about two hours and 50 minutes, so a bit under three hours to get to this point. So not too bad at all, considering this is, this is a 1000 piece puzzle. And I don't think I really have that much more to do. Um, so maybe the rest of this might only be like another hour or so, who knows, maybe it'll be even quicker because I'm a lot more familiar with the puzzle image now and there's a lot less pieces left. So yeah, we'll see. I'm usually very bad at estimating these things. So I guess we'll, yeah, we'll see what it ends up being. And then, uh, yeah, I really love the image. It's just such a lovely, whimsical artwork. I just love the art style. Everything's very bright and pretty and there's lots of fun details. And I've definitely been loving the addition of all these very cute kitty cats and even some uh, lovely doggos here as well and some more cats. So yeah, very cute. And I guess when it comes to the quality, so one thing that I guess is a bit of a con is, which you can probably tell, is there is a little bit of glare and sheen that I'm experiencing. I mean, I have a bright light directly overhead, so, you know, it's going to be different for everyone, depending on what your lighting setup is. Like if you're uh, puzzling in front of a like window with natural light, maybe you'll have quite a different experience. I'm not sure. So just something to note. I mean, normally when I'm puzzling, I'm sitting a bit more like this, which is a bit better, but yeah, just something to be aware of, I guess. Um, and then as for the piece fit, I haven't had any false fits at all. So very impressed with the uniqueness of the piece shapes. And then the pieces, like the tightness of the fit, um, I find with La La Land puzzles, they're usually more on the loose crumbly side, but actually some of this puzzle has sort of been a bit like, I've been experiencing some loose fitting pieces, but others hold together okay. So I've got a sort of couple sections here. So let's just have a look. Like this one seems to hold together pretty well, like even ugh, shaking it, it's yeah, pretty sturdy. So that's great. And then let's pick up this cat here. So yeah, that one's a little bit more crumbly. I mean, some of it still holds together pretty well actually, but yeah, so it's a little bit sort of a hit and miss as to whether it's a section's gonna stay together or not. And then I guess like with the border, well, it holds together reasonably well. So you might even be able to do a puzzle pickup if you uh, really wanted to. I'd probably still be uh, cautious though, but yeah, maybe you could. I uh, don't know if I'm going to attempt one though. And then what else? Um, Puzzle dust, there's only a minimal amount. So just a few sort of specks here and there hasn't bothered me at all. So yeah, I've been pretty pleased with that. And also the quality control has been excellent. I haven't seen any damaged pieces. So yeah, really impressed. Uh, so I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Yeah, just really enjoying the whole experience, both the quality and also this gorgeous image. So let's get back into puzzling. That was such a fun and relaxing puzzle to piece together. I really enjoyed it and I love the final image. It's just so cheerful and colorful and just such a lovely whimsical style. And there's so many really adorable, very pretty details as well. Of course, I love all the cats and the Dalmatian dog and just all these lovely birds and flowers and plants and even the patterns on uh, the clothing that the women are wearing. Yeah, it's just a real delightful puzzle image. 
And I actually found it to be fairly quick to put together as well. So the second half only took an extra 40 minutes. I guess by that stage, I didn't have too much left to do and I was pretty familiar with the image as well. But all up, including sorting the 1000 pieces, only took three hours and 30 minutes to piece together. So yeah, pretty quick. And that makes me think that it would be a really great puzzle for all different puzzling skill levels and also just for both adults and kids. Let's do a quick recap of my thoughts on the piece quality. So the pieces have a lovely smooth surface, but it is a little bit on the glossy side. So I did have uh, some issues with glare and sheen more when I was trying to film or take photos, not so much when I was puzzling. Um, and it's gonna be different for everyone depending on your lighting. If you have natural lighting, maybe you'll have a different experience. But yeah, just something to note, uh, not the end of the world, but it was a slight con. And then when it comes to the piece fit, I'm very impressed actually because there wasn't a single false fit. So I think there's just enough uh, variation in the piece shapes, but also that combined with the detailed image just yeah really helped there to be no false fit. So yeah, very happy. And when it comes to the tightness of the pieces, uh, I do find the La La Land puzzles to be a little bit hit or miss. So with this one, um, I was able to pick up some sections fairly well without them breaking, but then other small sections would be a little bit loose or crumbly. So yeah, hit and miss. But then if I pick up this corner, well, it is a little bit crumbly there, but for the most part, it kind of stays together pretty well. So you might be able to do a puzzle pickup, I guess, if you were gentle. Um, but yeah, I guess just, again, something to keep in mind. It might mean that you might need to be a little bit strategic where you build sections or build them on a piece of paper or thin cardboard so you can move them around easily without having to worry about them crumbling. And then when it comes to puzzle dust, yeah, not really an issue at all. There was barely any dust. Um, even my hands didn't feel too bad afterwards. And yeah, I wasn't sneezing or anything like that. So yeah, very pleased with that. And the last thing that I found very impressive as well is the quality control of the puzzle. I didn't find a single damage piece, so that's really impressive. And especially because these have a white paper backing, which sometimes on other puzzles, I do find that to be troublesome and more likely to have like peeling or damage. But in this case, I didn't find that to be the case at all. So yeah, really pleased with that. So overall, a uh, really fun and great quality puzzle. So I really enjoyed doing the kitchen talk puzzle. I really love the artwork. It's so colorful and whimsical and was just a delight to piece together. And I really enjoyed the quality as well. And I'm definitely looking forward to the sniff sniff woof woof puzzle. Even the name is adorable. These doggos are so cute and the flowers are so pretty. So I think this one is gonna be a lot of fun to put together as well. In the comments below, let me know what you thought of the kitchen talk puzzle. And if you're an Aussie puzzler, let us know if you're planning to add any of these adorable new puzzles to your puzzle collection. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button. And for more puzzle videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.